Okay. So, <clears throat> good morning, Krypton. So, teacher will discuss na uh, what is uh, the first, uh, yung unang topic po dun na makikita po ninyo sa module, which is the function. And teacher will discuss to you the basic concepts po muna sa functions. Okay. So, again, so good morning, Krypton. So, teacher will be discussing about the functions. But before we start uh, the discussion, uh, meron po muna tayong warp up. Okay? And I want you to grab your calculator kasi po meron po tayong solutions na gagawin konti dito. Okay? So, let's start na. So, this um, warm up called uh, Sabnian. Okay, so magbibigay si teacher ng mga letters and each letter meron pong corresponding value. Okay, so let A be the 1, B is number 2, C, 3, and so on and so forth until letter Z. Okay, so ang gagawin nyo lang po dito is is a substitute lang po yung mga numbers or yung corresponding value po ng bawat letter po. So teacher will give a word, then ang gagawin nyo lang is kukuhain niyo yung value niya, and then ipag-add lang po natin sila. Okay? Kukuhain lang po natin yung summation. For example po, teacher gave you a word love. So, gagawin niyo lang po is hahanapin niyo si letter L, which is 12. Si O po is 15. Si V, 22. Si E, 5. And then, ipag-add niyo lang po lahat po ng number, and then hahanapin po natin si summation. Okay? So, ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. So, do you get it, everyone? Okay. Uh, mga anak, uh, pwede po natin buksan po yung microphone on this time, ha? Dito po sa laro po natin. Uh, once po na gusto po natin mag-answer, you can open your microphone or kung ayaw nyo naman po magsalita, you can just type your answer on the chat box. Okay? So, without further ado, so let's start na the activity for today. So, the first word po na hahanapin nyo yung summation is the word knowledge. So, ano kaya yung magiging answer kapag pinagsama-sama po natin lahat po ng value ng word na knowledge? Okay, si Samantha, meron ng sagot, which is 85. Okay. Hintayin lang natin yung iba. Marie and Christine Molito answered 96. Si Cutter, 96 din. Okay, so check natin mga anak kung ang tamang sagot po ba is 96 o yung sinabi po na una, which is 85. Again, ang gagawin lang po ah, substitute lang po lahat ng number that i-add po natin. Okay, Dela Cruz also answer 96. Uh, Leslie Cruz also 96. So the word knowledge is equal to 96 po. Okay, so sa lahat po na nakakuha ng 96, very good. Doon po sa hindi, uh, let's try another one. Uh, again, uh, ang gagawin lang po natin is to substitute. You're just going to sub all the numbers doon po sa corresponding letter po. So, si knowledge po, kapag po pinagsama-sama po natin lahat po ng corresponding number, the summation po will be 96. Okay? Next one is the word hard work. Okay? Paano naman po si hard work? 98. Wow, par alam na alam na ang bibilis ah. Okay. Si Jvet answer 98. Ah, ganun din si Molito, tsaka si Lian, Lian Love. Okay, si Christian Pantin and then Napire, 98. Okay, 
So let's check po kung ang answer po ba is 98 for the word hardware. Okay, very good everyone. So once po na pinagsama-sama po natin yung word na uh, yung mga letters po, uh, yung mga numbers correspond po sa word na hard work, as a letter ng hard work, the summation will be 98. Okay? So, on functions, ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, we're just going to input all the letters, uh, all the value of a specific letter, and then magkakaroon po tayo ng output. Okay? So, we will be discussing, uh, children, what is a function and what is a relation. Ano ba yung pinagkaiba nila? Ano ba yung pinagkapareho nila? Okay? Pag sinabi natin relation, this is a relationship between the sets. Okay? Ng information po. Ibig sabihin po niyan, meron pong dalawa na set po na kung saan yun po yung hahanapan natin ng relationship. Okay? Kung ano ba yung kaugnayan ni first set kay second set. Dito naman sa function, pag sinabi natin function, this is a well-behaved relation that is given a starting point to know, okay, para malaman natin kung saan po tayo pupunta. Okay, si function po kasi is like a machine. Okay, na kung saan po kapag po naglagay tayo ng input, or kapag nag-type-type -type po tayo, okay, magkakaroon po tayo ng output. Okay, and that output is related doon po sa input po na nilagay natin. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ni function. Another definition of a function, this is a, parang, this is also a set. Okay, this is the subset, relationship between two sets, na kung saan each element nung first set, kailangan meron lang siyang exactly one element correspond with the second set. Okay, ulitin ko. Si function po is relation po ng dalawang sets. Okay, between the two set. And each element po na makikita po natin kay first set, kailangan meron lang po siyang exactly one element po para dun sa second set. Okay, so teacher will be elaborate it mamaya. So this is another definition po ng function. So si function po, meron po tayong domain and meron po tayong range. Let's say yun po yung dalawang set po na sinasabi natin na kung saan po every domain, meron lang po siyang exactly one value in the range. And usually, we are representing the function by this equation. Okay, yung makikita nyo po dyan sa baba. Okay, uh, it is uh, uh, read as y is equal to f of x. Okay, so ibig sabihin po niyan, lahat po ng value ni x, Papalitan po natin yan para po mahanap po natin yung value naman po ni y. Okay? So, yun po yung function and yun po yung relation. Now, to elaborate pa po, so si y po, or ito po yung range natin, this is also the dependent variable. Okay? Marami tayong tawag ha, pero kahit po gaano kadami po yung tawag po natin doon, iisa pa rin po yung ibig sabihin nila. Si range, si y, tsaka si dependent variable, iisa lang po yan. Okay? And the x naman po will be the independent variable. Okay? So independent variable naman po, siya po yung domain. Okay? So ayan po siya. So the set of allowable values for the independent po is called the domain, while for the dependent variable po, uh, range naman po yun. So, wag po tayong mali dito dun po sa mga words po na gagamitin po natin just for representing the two sets. Okay? So, note lang po again and again uh, for every input, meron lang po tayo dapat corresponding unique or one output. Kada isang domain, isang range lang po. Okay? So, ganun po si function. Now, ano ba yung relation? Sinabi natin na yung relation kanina, this is the relationship between the two sets. Pero meron po tayong mga types. Okay? Meron tayong apat po na types po ng relation. So the first type of the relation is the one-to-one -one correspondence. 
Okay, mamaya po, didiscuss po ni teacher yan. Next po na relation po is the one-to-many correspondence. And then, many-to-one correspondence. And then, yung pinakalas po na type po is the many-to-many -many correspondence. So, yun po yung apat na types po ng relation. We have one-to-one. -one. Take down notes, mga anak, ha? Uh, we have one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, then many-to-many. -many. So, yan po yung mga may encounter ninyo once we talk about the relation. Okay? So, start tayo kay one-to-one. Yeah. So, for example, we would like to determine if this sets is representing a function. Okay? So, si a, comma, x squared ba daw? The square root of 2 y, and then comma, 1 over z. The 13, comma, 2d. The q, comma, st. Can you represent a function? Okay? So, paano natin yan malalaman na function? So, ang gagawin po natin is mag-recreate po tayo ng table. Okay? Ilalagay muna natin si domain, lahat ng domain na makikita po natin dun sa set po natin, and then lahat po ng range. Okay? So lahat po yung nakikita nyo dyan sa table is galing lang din po dito sa taas, or dito po sa given natin. After po natin siya ma-plot using the table, ipagko-connect-connect natin sila. Okay? Saan ba nakakorespond si A? So, si A po, corresponding range po niya is x squared. <clears throat> the square root of 2 y is 1 over z. 13 is 2d. Si Q daw po is st. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, isang domain, isang range. Ganun lang po yung makikita yung um, parang pattern po niya. Kada isang value ni domain, may isang value lang po ni range. Therefore, ito pong example po na ito is masasabi natin na one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay? Kasi isang domain to one range. Kaya one-to-one -one po siya. Okay? Ngayon, masasabi po ba natin na function po siya? Okay, yes. Okay, kapag po one-to-one -one po ang correspondence po natin or kapag po one-to-one -one po yung relationship po natin, dun sa dalawang set, okay, that is automatically a function. Okay, so this example is a one-to-one -one correspondence and this is also a function. Okay? If you have question guys, sa pwede kayo mag-chat. Okay, kung nalilito man or kung kailangan po bang ulitin ni teacher, uh, chat lang po kayo sa chat box. Okay? Next one. Okay, how about this example? We would like to determine if these sets can represent again a function. So, meron tayong Philippines to Manila, Indonesia, Jakarta, Thailand, Bangkok, Indonesia, Bali. So, is this set can represent a function? So, para po mas malinaw po sa atin or para mas madali po natin ma-analyze, okay, Gagawa po ulit tayo ng table. Paghihiwalayin po natin si domain tsaka si range. Okay. Kung mapapansin nyo kay domain, dapat apat siya, di ba? Pero tatlo lang po yung nakikita nyong words dyan, which is the Philippines, uh, the Indonesia, and then the Thailand. Okay. Dito po sa given po kasi natin, naulit po si Indonesia twice. Okay. So kapag ganun po yung nangyari or kapag ganun po yung scenario kay domain o kaya po kay range, kapag po naudit na po siya, ibig sabihin po no, isusulat lang po natin siya ng isang beses. Okay, kagaya po kay Philippines, since wala naman po siyang kapareho or hindi siya naudit, okay, sinulat ko siya, Philippines. Si Indonesia, okay, makikita niyo dalawang beses po siya naudit, <clears throat> pero hindi ko siya dalawang beses sinulat kay domain. Okay, isang beses lang po siya isusulat. Kahit gaano pa po yung kadami dyan na beses na naulit, isang beses lang po siya natin siyang isasulat. And then after noon is the Thailand. Ito po siya. Dito naman po sa range, okay, ito po yung nasa 
kabilang side po nila, which is the Manila, Jakarta, the Bangkok, and then the Bali. Okay? Since wala naman pong naulit sa kanila, kaya lahat po sila dyan makikita ninyo sa range. Ngayon, kagaya na ginawa natin kanina, pagtatapatin natin sila. Or sino ba yung corresponding range ni Philippines? Of course, that is from Manila. Okay? Si Indonesia naman, si Jakarta. Okay, yung pangatlo, si Thailand kay Bangkok. Pero yung pang-apat po na set, which is the Indonesia, okay, which is naulit po yon, okay, kay Bali po siya. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo mga anak, uh, isang domain, which is the Indonesia, pero meron siyang dalawang range. Meron siyang Jakarta, meron siyang Bali. Ibig sabihin po nun, one to many, So, this is a one-to-many correspondence. Okay? Kasi one lang po yung domain niya, which is the Indonesia, pero many po yung range niya kasi dalawa po yung sakop niya, which is the Jakarta and then the Bali. Okay? So, eto bang one-to-many po is masasabi natin na function. Okay? No. No. Kasi po, based po dun sa definition kanina ng function, kailangan daw po for every domain, meron daw pong exactly one or there is a unique range. So, pag sinabi natin unique, wala po siyang kapareho, wala pong kamuka, iisa lang po siya. Pero dito po sa example po na ito, which is the one-to-many correspondence, isa po yung domain natin, yun nga lang, pagdating po sa range, dalawa po siya, kaya the one-to-many correspondence is not a function. Okay? One-to-one, function. One-to-many, not a function. So, ito po yung example na yun. Okay? Next one. How about this one? So, let's determine... If the f of x is equal to 3x squared, can represent a function. Okay? Sir, paano namin malalaman kung function yan? Eh, ang given mo lang is the equation itself. Okay? So, gagawa po tayo ng x and y or the table. Okay, for example, ito po lahat ng value ng x. So, we have x as negative 2, negative 1, 1, and then 2. So, ano po yung dapat gawin dyan? So, ang gagawin lang po natin, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina dun sa activity, we will just uh, substitute lahat po ng value ni x doon sa equation in order for us to get what is the value of y or the f of x. Okay? Sige nga, try nyo nga po mga bata. Kapag po ba si x is negative 2, ano po ang magiging value ni f of x? Or ano ang magiging value ni y? Okay. Ito po yung... Okay, Gabriel Taala says it's 12. So, that is correct. So, once we substitute po the value of x, which is negative 2, dito po sa equation po natin na ito, ang lalabas po is 12. Okay. So, tignan natin. So, para po dun sa naguguluhan po kung bakit po naging 12 po ang answer po. So, isasolve po ni teacher. Okay? Try ko po isolve. Wait lang po ah. Ayan. <clears throat> so, si equation natin is f of x is equal to 3x squared. Ngayon po, ang value po ng x natin is negative 2. So, copy natin si 3, then substitute natin si negative 2 kay x, then don't forget the exponent 2. Now, kapag ganyan po yung magiging problem po natin, we should follow the PEMDAS rule. Or uunahin muna natin si exponent before we multiply 3 by the result of itself. So, si negative 2 po, pag po in-squared po natin yan, So, that will become positive 4. Tandaan, lahat po ng negative, kapag na-squared, automatic po nagiging positive po. Okay? Kasi based on the rule itself naman po, 
uh, negative times negative is equal to positive. Okay, so 3 times 4 lang po, that is 12. Kaya po, kapag po si negative 2 po yung value po ng x natin, meron po tayong 12. Ayan siya. Paano naman po kapag po si 1? Ah, negative 1. Paano kapag ang value po ng x natin is negative 1? Okay, 3, 3, 3. Okay, very good. Okay. So, tama po ba na kapag po si negative 1 ang value ng x, 3 po ang answer? Tignan natin. Okay, very good. So, kapag naman po si negative 1 po ang value ng x natin, Okay, positive 3 po yung magiging answer po natin. Okay? How about positive 1? Okay. May nakita kong negative 3, 3. Negative 3, 3. So, dalawa ang possible na sagot. Okay, so tignan po natin mga bata kung ano po ba yung tama. Is it negative 3 or positive 3? So, Kapag po magsasubstitute tayo mga bata, um, we need to be careful sa sign na gagamitin po natin. Okay? So, try ulit i-solve ni teacher para lahat po, na, uh, lahat po tayo makakakita po. Okay? So, ganun ulit. The equation is f of x is equal to 3x squared. So, paano po kapag po si x daw po is positive 1? So, ganun lang din po. Si 1 po, Diba kapag nag i tayo, multiply lang natin sa sarili niya. So, 1 times 1, that is 1. So, 3 times 1 po, ang answer po natin is 3. Okay? So, hindi po siya negative 3. Okay? Tandaan po natin ha. Hindi po siya magiging negative 3. Bakit sir? Bakit hindi po siya magiging negative 3? Kasi po, Ang exponent po natin is 2. Okay? Or naka-squared po kasi exponent natin. Therefore po mga bata, lahat po ng value ni x, mapa-negative man, mapa-positive man, ang magiging resulta po nun is positive. Sir, kailan yan magiging negative? In case. Magiging negative lang yan kapag si coefficient, which is number 3, is negative po. Okay? <clears throat> Kasi po, kapag minultiply natin si positive kay negative, magiging negative. But on this scenario, the coefficient is positive, and then yung exponent po natin is 2. Which is kahit anong number po ang ilagay natin siya, mapanegative, mapapositive, ang magiging resulta po is positive. So hindi po siya magiging negative 3, bagkus magiging positive 3 po siya. <clears throat> okay? And lastly, Paano po kapag 2? Okay, 12. 12. Okay. So, very good everyone. <clears throat> kapag naman po 2 ang value ng x natin, 12 po. Okay, ngayon. Ano kayang klaseng uh, relation siya? Is it one to one, one to many, many to one, or many to many? Okay, many to one, one to one. Sige, try pa natin, baka may maghabol pa. Okay, this example is a many to one correspondence. Teacher, bakit many to one? Okay, tignan natin. Sir, bakit gano'n? Naguguluhan ako. Hindi ko ma-visualize paano naging many to one siya. So, isusulat natin na una is the x or the domain itself. So, meron tayong negative 2. Meron tayong negative 1. We have the positive 1 and then the positive 2. <clears throat> At yung domain. Sa so, range naman natin, kung mapapansin ninyo, si 12 na ulit, kaya isusulat lang natin ng isang beses. Si 3 din na ulit, kaya isusulat lang natin ng isang beses. Ngayon, pagtatapatin natin silang dalawa, yung dalawang set. Okay, para makita natin kung anong klaseng correspondence po ba siya. Si negative 2 po, tsaka si positive 2, 
kay positive 12 po siya nakakorrespond. Okay? Well, the negative 1 and then the positive 1 kay number 3 po. <clears throat> Ngayon, mapapansin niyo guys, dito kay range, 1 lang siya. Ibig sabihin, si 12, isa lang, pero nakakorrespond po siya sa dalawang domain. Okay? Which is negative 2 and positive 2. Ganon din si 3. Si 3 naman, nakakorrespond kay negative 1, correspond din siya kay positive 1. Ibig sabihin, sa domain, many, sa range 1, kaya po many to 1 yung correspondence po natin. Okay? And now, ang tanong ko po, si many to 1 po ba can represent a function or not a function? Not, sabi ni Lipeo. <clears throat> okay. Function kaya ito or not a function? Samantha says, it's not a function. Meron pa po bang ibang magta-try? Okay. This relation po, okay, very good. This is a function. Okay. Sir, bakit po siya nasabing function? Okay. Kasi po, si range po is 1 pa din. E based on the definition naman po, in every element of X, which is the domain, kailangan isa lang daw po yung makikitang element sa range or sa value po ng Y. On this scenario, dalawa yung domain, pero isa lang po yung range. Okay, ibig sabihin po nun, kahit po si negative 2 po yan, tapos correspond siya kay 12, si positive 2 kay 12 pa din, okay, considered pa din po yan na function. Okay, kahit po dalawa po yung sakop ni range kay domain. Basta lagi lang natin tatandaan, ang kailangan lang pong mag-exact one or kailangan unique po is yung range. Kahit gaano po kadami yan si... Uh, what I mean is, kahit naka-many pa po yan si domain, basta po si range po, isa lang po yan, okay, that is still a function. So this uh, relation, many to one, is also a function. Okay? Next one. So determine if f of x is equal to the square root of x can represent a function. Okay? So, lahat ng value ng x po, pwede nyo pong ilagay dyan. Okay? So, for example, si 1, magiging si 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, ayan, 4, 4, 5, and 7. Okay? Ngayon, this representation po is many to many. Okay? This is a many to many relation. Therefore, kapag many to many, hindi po siya function. Ibig sabihin po niyan, merong dalawang range correspond dito kay isang domain, meron naman sa kabilang isang domain lang tas correspond kay dalawang range. Ibig sabihin po noon kapag ganun po yung scenario natin, that is automatically a many to many relation. And many to many relation po is hindi po siya function. Kasi po yung range po niya naka many, which is kailangan one lang po. Okay? So, sir, ano yung mga dapat lang na matatawag natin na function? So, one to one and then many to one, yun lang po yung matatawag natin na function. The rest of the types of the relation is not a function. Okay? Nagkakaintindihan po ba? Okay. Basta tandaan po natin ha, yun po yung apat na types ng relation and then kung ano po yung magdedetermine, ah, kung ano po sa relation yung function, dalawa lang po. The one to one and then the many to one. Okay, let's try. <clears throat> okay, kahit po sino, pwede po magsagot. Kung ayaw po buksan yung microphone, pwede po kayong mag-type na lang po sa chat box. Okay. All you have to do is to determine which the following set is a pair. 
of a function. Okay? Sabihin nyo lang po kung function po o hindi. Then, sasabihin nyo lang din po kung one-to-one, many-to-one, one-to-many, or many-to-many po. Okay? Letter A. <clears throat> Letter A, ito po yung set of ordered. Is this a function or not? Function po. Okay. So, this is a function, sabi ni Gabriel. Now, Gabriel, you are correct. And the most... One is to one po. Wow. Ang bilis naman. So, tama din po yung mga nag-chat. So, natutuwa naman ako sa inyo. So, letter A is a function. Why? Because this is a one-to-one -one correspondence. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin po, kada domain po nila is nakakorespond lang po sila sa isang, uh, isang range. Okay? Kaya matatawag po natin siya na function. How about letter B? Function rin po. Okay. So this is also a function. Bakit? Kasi po, one is to one rin po siya. Okay. This is also one to one. Anak, walang is to ha. Kasi pag sinabi natin is to, that will be a ratio. And kapag sinabi natin ratio, that is already a fraction. Okay. So tanggalin natin, Gabriel, yung word na is. Uh, one to one okay. lang. Okay. So, letter B, this is a function. At the same time, this is a one-to-one -one correspondence. Okay, mahuhusay. <clears throat> How about letter C? Not a function po. Okay, Kyla says this is not a function which is true. Hindi siya function. Bakit kaya? One to many po siya. Kasi po may naulit po na domain. Ay, domain po. Uh, one to many. Sure na ba yun, anak? Uh, para makita rin ng iba kung ano po ba yung sagot. So, that is correct ha. This is not a function. Ngayon, uh, tignan natin. So, gawa tayo ng table. Ito lang po. Okay, so we have here the domains, which is 1, 0, negative 1, then 0. Since si 0 po is naulit ng dalawang beses, isang beses ko na lang po siya isusulat. So meron tayong 1, 0, then negative 1. On the range naman po, meron tayong 0, 1, 0, negative 1. So meron tayong 0, 1, the negative 1. Isang beses ko na lang din po sinulat si 0. Ngayon, pagtapatin natin. Si 1 po is kay 0. Si 0 kay 1. Si negative 1 kay 0. Si 0 kay negative 1. Okay. Kung mapapansin ninyo, Meron tayong dalawang domain, which is negative 1 and positive 1, correspond po siya kay 0. Okay? Pero meron din tayong 0 na corresponding po sa dalawang range, which is, uh, which is 1 and then negative 1. So this is not a function. Pero anong klaseng cor uh, relation po kaya siya? Many to many po. Okay. This is many to many. Okay? Kasi po, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung kaninang in-explain ko, <clears throat> masasabi na natin many to many siya. Ibig sabihin, merong part na dalawa yung domain, isa lang yung range. Meron ding dalawa yung range, isa lang yung domain. Okay? So that is a many to many correspondence. Very good, everyone. Okay. Next one. How about letter D? Is this a function or not? Function po. Okay. 
si uh, sabi ni Kyla, si Kyla ba nagsabi nun? This is a function. And that is correct. Anong klaseng correspondence naman po kaya siya? Or anong klaseng relation po kaya siya? This is uh, Leon Love. This is many to one. Which is correct. Okay? O, para ma-visualize po ng lahat na this is many to one, so teacher will ano, create a table again. Sir, paano siya naging many to one? <clears throat> so si Domi natin, we have negative two, negative one, zero, one and two. So lima po yan. Pasensya na po sa sulat ha. So si range natin, we have four, we have positive 1, 0, and then si 1, hindi ko na siya isusulat ulit kasi may 1 na tayo, ganun din si 4. So, ipagtapat-tapat natin sila. Si negative 2, tsaka si positive 2, kay positive 4. Si negative 1, tsaka si positive 1, kay 1. Then si 0, kay 1. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo mga anak, Dalawa yung domain natin, pero isa lang po yung range nila. So, si negative 2, si positive 2, kay 4. So, many to 1 agad yun. Ganon din si negative 1, tsaka si positive 1, correspond lang siya kay 1. So, many to 1. So, kaya si letter D po is a function at the same time, this is a many to 1 correspondence. Okay, do you have question, mga anak, about the exercise? <coughs> so, natutuwa naman ako na mabilis nyo pong nakuha yung topic po natin na relation. Uh, may question po ba kayo before we proceed? May gusto po ba kayong ipaklarify kay teacher? Okay, wala naman. Let's proceed now. To the conclusion of the function and then the relation. So, sabi dito, not every relation is a function. Yes, that is true. Kasi meron lang po tayong particular na relation na matatawag natin na function. Which is the one-to-one -one and then the many-to-one. Pero, ang sabi po din, na every function po is a relation. Okay, ulitin ko ha. Lahat ng function, relation. Pero hindi lahat ng relation, function. Okay? So, wag po tayo malilito dun sa sinabi ko. Okay, so definition. Okay? So, let X and Y be the empty sets natin na kung saan po, lagi ko po itong ipauulit-ulit po sa inyo na si element X kailangan meron lang siyang exactly one na element doon kay y. Okay? Every element of x kailangan isa lang kay y. So that is the function and then relation. Okay? So maliwanag na po ba sa atin si function tsaka si relation? Okay. Yes sir, maliwanag na po. Okay, kung maliwanag na, let's proceed now to the next topic, which is the vertical line test. Okay, so vertical line test po, this is another way kung paano po natin malalaman ng mabilisan kung ang given po ba is a function or not. <clears throat> Di, yun nga lang, dito kay vertical line test, magagamit lang natin siya kapag po ang given po is graph. Okay? Or nakaplat po yung mga points po doon sa Cartesian plane. <clears throat> doon natin malalaman kung ang graph po ba o kung yung given po ba na yon is a function or not. Okay? Yung kanina po kasing tinakel natin about the types of the relation, yun naman po yung mga ways kapag po ang given po natin is naka-equation or given po yung mga sets, sets of ordered. So, ititibo lang natin yun sila, then i, uh, pagtatapat tapati natin based on their corresponding value, then malalaman na natin if it is a function or not. And malalaman din natin kung anong klaseng uh, 
relation po ba siya? Now, dito po sa vertical line test, uh, kailangan po na kapag po nag-graph na tayo and we draw a vertical line doon po mismo sa graph, kailangan mag intersect po si graph tsaka si vertical line sa iisang point lang. Okay, the vertical line and the graph should intersect at most one point only. Okay? Para lang din po yun dun sa ginawa natin kanina na kung saan kailangan isa lang daw po yung range. Okay? Ganun din po dito. Okay? Kailangan isa lang din po yung uh, pag i ni vertical line. So, teacher will show you different kinds of graph and the use of the vertical line. So, ayan yung mga example ng graph pero hindi pa yan po yan, uh, hindi pa po yan lahat. Okay, ito lang po yung mga example na masasabi nating function, masasabi nating nata function. Punahin natin dito si, un, uh, si unang graph. So this first graph is a, a quadratic function since the graph is a parabola, open upwards. So masasabi natin siya na function, yes, this is a function, pero bakit sir? Okay, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, uh, magdodrawing lang tayo ng vertical line. Okay, so as you can see, this is the vertical line, which is... Uh, what do you mean by nonlinear? Samantha, can you open your microphone? Samantha? Based po sa illustration po. So this graph po is a nonlinear. Uh, Samantha, can you can you elaborate to us? Uh, what do you mean by the nonlinear? Ah, <clears throat> uh, kasi. On my experience, uh, there is no such kind of nonlinear function. Okay? What I'm seeing, uh, kapag, ito pong fun, uh, kapag ito pong graph na to, this is a quadratic. Kapag sinabi mo namang linear kasi anak, straight line lang siya na may slope. Ibig sabihin, nakadiagonally po yung graph po natin. Let's say, yeah, we can say this is a nonlinear since this is not a linear function talaga. But the corresponding function for this graph, since nakaparabola siya and it opens upward, okay, this is a example of quadratic function. Okay? Itong unang graph po na to, this is a quadratic function. Okay, now, let's proceed na. Malalaman natin na function ito by the use of the vertical line, which is the orange line, kahit saan po kayo dyan mag-graph, Oh, kahit saan nyo po ilagay yung vertical line, mapapansin lang po ninyo dyan na sa iisang point, sa isang point lang po sila mag intersect And therefore, since isang point lang po yung pinag-intersect nila, this is a function. Okay? Yung pangalawa naman. Okay, this one. So this graph is familiar to you para siyang normal distribution curve Kasi para siyang may slope or may thickness po siya dun sa gitna. And then yung flat po na yung area niya on the both sides. Now, ganun din, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, uh, magdo-drawing lang kayo ng vertical line. And then, makikita nyo naman na po, nasa iisang point lang din po siya nag-intersect. So, kahit saan po kayo dyan maglagay po ng vertical line, okay, one point lang po sila mag intersect So, this example or this graph is also a function. Next one, itong pangatlo. So, it looks like a half circle or this is a semi-circle graph. So, ganun ulit by the use of the vertical line. Kahit saan kayo maglagay, sa isang point pa din sila mag meet or mag intersect Okay, so this is still a function. Okay, 
Here naman sa baba, this is a circle. Then, drawing kayo ng vertical line, mapapansin ninyo dito sa quadrant 1 and on the quadrant 4 of the Cartesian plane, nag-meet po yung vertical line tsaka yung pinaka-graph. So, dalawa po yung point na pinag-meet niya. Therefore, this is not a function. Okay, ganun din po dito. So, para siyang quadratic na pinatagilid, yung graph niya. So, this is a parabola that opens on the right side. So, magdo-drawing tayo ng vertical line. Same. Dalawa pa rin po yung point na pag intersect Therefore, this graph is also not function. So, ganun lang po yung paggamit po ng vertical line in order for us to know if the graph is a function or not. Basta, always remember mga anak na once the nag-intersect lang sila on exactly one point, therefore the graph, the graph represent already a function, while if it intersect on two or more, this is already net function. Okay? So yan po yung mga ways na pwede natin gamitin para malaman po natin kung function o hindi yung isang equation or yung isang graph. Okay, so this exercise, hindi ko na siya papasagot sa inyo since we don't have time. I just read for me post on the Google Classroom, then doon na lang po tayo magsasagot. Okay, your assignment, since we don't have time na, kasi 10, 10 po ang end natin. Wag na po kayo mag-left kasi papasok na po yung next teacher nyo. Uh, you need to study about the domain and the range of the function. And then, ipapasok na rin po ni teacher by Wednesday si evaluating of function. Okay? Kung kaya ng time hanggang performing of operation. Okay? So, this will be your assignment. And, Krypton, thank you so much for your time. So, hope you uh, learned something on my subject. And, see you again on Wednesday. Still the same time, ha? It's 9.20 to 10.10 in the morning. Okay? So, thank you so much. And, wag na po kayo mag-leave. Wait na lang po ninyo yung next teacher ninyo mag-join, okay? Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.